Hey folks, welcome back. I'm a rough pebble and I'm playing some more subterrain Mines of Titan and uh, I'm having a blast with this game. It's it's really neat um, still kind of getting through some of the uh, uh, Early game here and just learning a little bit about this game and some, some of its mechanics We are currently looting all of the office supplies or office um, offices down here in the medical because we can uh, use these resources to craft materials for us. So let's just go ahead and grab everything here. Yes, that's good. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, and then let's come over here and just drop everything off. Just drop all of this off. Um, okay, and yeah, we can sort that. What else do we have in here? Oh yeah, sort all of this. Sort this. Fight or flight adrenaline plus two five. And wait, what else do we have here in terms of our perk points? So we've got uh, Nano Recovery. Activate your nanobots to continuously repair your injuries and heal wounds. Nano plus 20 Nano Shove. Expel a wave of nano energy that damages and pushes an enemy away with a chance to stun. That seems pretty cool. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and grab you and put you down here. Okay, so that costs 10 of our 100 nano energies. Uh, let's go into here and let's start doing just some research. Research into that. We can do some research into some of these monsters. Not particularly needed right now. Maybe we just do the research on the, the other stuff here. And then we'll start recycling some of this. Um, yes, just go ahead and recycle all of these things. Um, if I wanted to craft a, one of these, I need, what exactly? Yes, pretty much a little bit of everything. So we can come down here to our junk and we can start taking some of this apart. Okay. Damaged armor. Destroyed shirts. These bowls. Maybe some of these busted blenders. The sewing machine. Battery packs. Sure. Some of this plastic. These combs. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, and then maybe some of these weapons as well. Uh, yeah. Take some of those apart there. Take those apart. Take that one apart. Yeah, that seems good. All right, we've got 25 tasks lined up. Let's go take a nap real fast. We are getting quite sleepy. All right. And that, that'll allow for all of this to get done. Rusty sword. Doctor's uniform. at this. Anything else? Yeah, I need to do another one of these. Talk to Tao about the mines. The mines are over here in this little location. So we'll pop into H04. And yes, we're starting to, to research all of this. 
do we have enough for a gun yet? Oh, I need to drop off some of this stuff here. Oh, well, hello. Who are you, Sebel? You're from the first settlement team. I heard you were found outside camp. Yeah, but my memories are still pretty hazy. I'm Rough Pebble. Interesting. Well, I'm Sebel Kibede, a mining drone pilot, but my job is on hold at the moment with the mine lockdown. My drones are in pieces from creature attacks. Anyway, so whatever. Gotta fix those, so I'll see you later. Ah, and you're Tao, Tao Mogorosi. And you are... Hello, I'm Rough Pebble. Dr. Shaheen just pulled me out of hibernation, so I'm still getting used to being not frozen. Or not being frozen. After she locked the clinic doors and fixated on you, I hadn't seen her for a while. I'm Overseer Mogorosi, and this is my mine. Seems quiet for a mine. I would expect heavy machinery and lots of noise. Yeah, I had to close the mine since some of my workers got sick. Real talk, it's just an excuse to not worry. Bunch of lazy bastards. Mining Titan ain't no different than Earth or Mars, and they're costing me credits every day they aren't working. The mine made them sick? How does that work? Do I look like a doctor? Hell, even the doctors don't know what's happening. One worker coughs and all the others pretend their throats hurt too. Now I recycle people's crap for credits. We'll be back to business soon enough though. I decide to find you. A large man looms over you and doesn't seem to know the word smile. You'll address me as Overseer Mogorosi, thank you. The doctor should have told you that. She did say you got something special about you. You don't look so tough to me, but we got nothing to lose, so in the mind you go, kid. If you somehow manage to surprise me, though, we can hammer out a deal. Might sound strange, but it turns out I'm made for it. I'll be heading in now. Hold up. You can only descend with the proper equipment. Even if I'm in the clear, if you fail, it's in my best interest that you don't. Can't take my piece of the pie that don't exist, yeah? Also, the mine ain't empty. The creatures down there have lived here longer than us, so gotta be a fight to mine the good stuff. Besides that... We can't predict the mine's stability. You're gonna protect from rocks falling on you too. Good thinking, huh? Overseer Mogorosi, what do I need? Exactly the gear we don't have at the moment. Judith has been hanging on to some equipment to test, uh, to make, to run tests and make improvements. Hurry back when you get it. I don't like waiting. Confirmed. Um, maybe we will first sort of just loot everything here. Before we go any deeper on that. Okay, and we'll continue to research all of this using our blueprints. More stuff. Okay, nothing else here. Alright. Some gear. Okay. We can probably just get rid of all of that here. Alright. Let's take a look at this. Keep going. Mm hmm. Rickety shield. Probably better than what we have. Homemade rifle. DIY bow. Battered helmets, combat boots, old body armor. But better than nothing. Maybe we make a few of these. Make a few repair kits. What does it use? Okay, some of that. Um, and then let's make sure that we... Yeah, make some more of this. Um, and I think... We ought to just go ahead and make the rifle. Well, let's... Yeah, let's see what these other two are. Well, actually, let's... We don't have any more that we can do. Just the melee. All right, we make the rifle then. All right, and then the ammunition. There we go, that's 70, seems good. 
And then let's, um... Let's head down here. Suddenly a security alarm activates and you're met with Tao rushing into his office. Hey, get out of my office. Okay, sorry, I didn't, uh... Hey, kitty, I didn't mean to get... I didn't mean to bust into your office like that. Hey, buddy. My repair kit's done. Alright, and some more things here. Ah, lockers, yes. Let's go ahead and loot everything here. Hey, kitty. What is it? Did you just wake up from a nap? Alright, there we go. Got some more ammunition here. Already looted all of that. Okay, we need this one though. More things for us to recycle. Anything else here? No. No. What is it, buddy? Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, and then anything else in here? A few things, probably. Looks like. Okay. Oh, um... Okay, there we go. Got most of this stuff here. Oh, um, yeah, we don't really have room for all of this, and that's okay, we don't need this hockey stick. Let's go ahead and drop all this off, then. Sort. Drop all of this. There we go. Um, that was actually better than I think what, than what we have here. Hey, buddy, what's up? One moment, y'all. Alright, sorry about that. My cat was looking for some attention there. Um, we are good to head out and talk to Judith then. I don't think there's anything else... I, what else should I be thinking about here? Okay. We are gonna need to eat some food here in a moment. Drink some water. And let's go talk to Judith. Okay, <clears throat> let's go in here real fast, and just store all of that, store some of this, just sort bad quality, bad quality, some normal, some excellence. Mm-hmm. Some adrenaline. Maybe we'll use that. Um, let's go ahead and drink this. We can eat... Acid resistance health regen. That could be pretty nice. Alright. And I can see how many uses each one of these has. Okay. Um... 
Good. Judith, you're down here, okay. There she is. Um. Hey, Judith, Overseer Mogorosi uh, sent me to pick up some equipment for the mine. Judith always seems intense, but she's visibly angry at the mention of Tao's name. Yeah? Well, you can tell him that unless he's paying what, I owe, what I'm owed, uh, he can suck an egg. A whole dozen of them. I don't work for him, but he'll only let me into the tunnels if I have this gear. Please, Judith, the camp needs this. Her anger turns to contemplation. The two sides of herself are at odds with each other. Trust me, I get it, but even you understand that this camp doesn't run on charity. It's my life's work, crafting this stuff, making things better. But Tao always tries to get me to work for free or nearly free. And that asshat is probably the highest paid us of all. Highest paid of us all. I can't bend on this one. Without those credits, I can't pay for my next project. Alright. How much does he owe you for this equipment, then? Altogether, at least 500 credits. But likely way more. I have 500 credits for you. This is important. I have... Yeah. Let's do it. Done. For you, not for Tao, and his overinflated ego. He still owes me for other work I did weeks ago. You received the miner's uniform. Okay, great. Okay, cool. Um, and we just have a slingshot here. Okay, this is better. What we have on is better. Mm, no, it's not better. This is better. This is... Slightly better. Yeah. And this is also better. Okay, great. Cool. Okay, then. Return to Tau. Okay. And then here, yeah, we just drop all of this. And maybe we try to craft. Do we have enough for all of this? I think so. Hmm. Wait, do we have... Is there one in here? Did I miss it? Oh! Yes, okay, good. Excellent. There we go. And we have, yes, 70 ammunition. Okay, great. Okay, this has been reloaded. We're still gaining... This has stun duration. Okay. Are we all set? We're good. Um, maybe when we get to the other side, our stuff will be ready. And let's see, this is 37 out of 52. Mm-hmm. Alright, put this here. And use it on this. Because that's actually our better weapon right here. Okay. Yeah, take this off. There's we just don't need this. Alright, yeah, and then you load this thing as well. All right, and our, some of our equipment is ready. We can go put that on.
Now, do I have to have this armor on, or can I use... Different armor. I mean, that's just better. That's also just better. These also simply better. And also, yet again, just better. Okay. Um... And you're getting hungry again. Let's just eat some of this. Um, and then Tao, where are you? Oh, you're just in here. There you are, buddy. Unless you're paying, I got nothing to say. Hey, I got the equipment. You owe me 500 credits. Hey. I've, I've been waiting this long just to hear you're bad at negotiation. You can't be serious, kid. Rem remember what I said about making a deal. You'll earn pr plenty of credits with what you find in the mine, so you need to take several seats before things get heated. You better be right. I'm here to help the camp, but I'm not doing it for free. Help the camp? The mine is the most important part of the circus of a camp. We are in a mining operation, first and foremost, so paying for the equipment to do the only thing we are sent here to do makes no damn sense. Without me, no one here would ever would even have a job. And, if you listen to Judith, you'll end up just as bitter as she is. The good news is, you get to keep mining gear that, in reality, costs several thousands of credits. Consider the 500 credits an investment in keeping yourself alive down here. Time is of the essence, so you bite your tongue for now. If Tao's right, then 500 credits may be a drop in the bucket at the end of this. Plus, you're not entirely sure you'd win a fight against Tao. Fine. Whatever. So I can go now? Tao puts his arm around your shoulder, smirks, and sets his sights on the mine. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. Make sure you're actually prepared, though, because the mine ain't for weaklings. Hold on, let me just drop some of this stuff off, then. Oh, and these have multiple uses. Good. We may... 28 to 40, 28 to 40, okay. We may hold on to those then. Alright. Let's go. Finally, go wait in my office while I make some preparations. Waiting in Tao's office, you wonder what the other preparations could even be. Or what would even be needed? Was making you wait just a power move? Then you contemplate your own, your actual chances of success. Every little bit helps, so maybe a little patience is warranted. The office door opens. You stand to greet Tao and be led in the and led to the mine, but a different man enters. Different man. Hello, Alexei Bogmo Bog Bogomolov. Are you our wolf? Pardon? Live like a wolf? How like a wolf? <laughs> I take it you're the one going into the mine. Yeah, I'm Rough Pebble. Seems like every everything points to the mine, which I guess makes me the wolf. I am Alexei Bogomolov. Tao says, you have a death wish, uh, but I can tell there's some something kismet about you being here. Alexei waves you to follow him. You follow quickly. Alright, let's see what we've got here then. Hmm. You arrive at the mine elevator. Sable is already there working on the systems. She flips a few switches and the gears start moving. So, Tao roped you in too, Sable. Rope in it? Nothing. The Ahia only thinks with his wallet. The, this whole operation is running on fumes, yet he just continues to suck it even drier at, at our expense. I'm here because if reopening the mine is even possible, that'll help balance everything out. Yeah, no kidding. Least you could do is spring for new equipment. I'm working with holes in my boots right now. Don't need new boots to operate a drone, he says. Whatever. Okay, Wolf, this is it. The elevator over there will take you down. 
When was the last time this thing was used? It doesn't even look very safe. Alexi gets in close and grabs your shoulders, looking you in the eye. Live like a wolf, howl like a wolf, right? You go down there and give him hell and let us worry about shaft maintenance. The door opens, footsteps approach from the distance as Tao has finally caught up. Okay. Now then, everything, everybody ready to go? You've had plenty of time. Yes, over to your Mogorosi. Yes, over to Seer Mogorosi. Tao approaches you and speaks with a more diplomatic tone. Hey, real talk. If this works and you don't die down there, then we need to talk terms. There's a huge demand for what's in the mine, but you'll need exclusive access to come and go to fulfill that demand. Only I can give you that. We maintain this death trap. We know the ins and outs of this operation way better than someone who just woke up yesterday. So, keep in mind that you need us, you feel me? It's not surprising for Tao to take this approach. He's a bully, and this is extortion, but he's also right. Consider yourself hurt. Now, let me get to work. Okay. A series of terrifying noises suddenly ring from the elevator shaft. They quickly approach and are undoubtedly created by something substantial in size. Hmm. Ooh, within seconds, a loud thump rattles the area. Whatever it is, is beneath your feet. Waves of fear rush over everyone else, but you stand firm. Hmm. Okay. This is not ideal. A giant creature rips through the bottom of the elevator. Well, what the f the fuck's that? Whatever it is, it's not good. Sevel pulls a lever to close the elevator doors, but the monster's too quick and fully emerges. What's the plan, boss? Hold it off. We gotta make sure it doesn't get to the camp. Hmm. You didn't want to fire a few shots at it. Bogorosi sprints ahead to the mine entrance door, leaving you at the rest and the rest of the group behind. The door locks behind him. Wonderful. Seriously, he locked the goddamn door? You were right. That guy doesn't care about people. I was hoping he'd prove me wrong one day. Too bad that day might never happen now. Everything is chaos, but your veins are ice cold. Something tells you this isn't your first time facing something like this. Get behind me. I'll make sure we get out of here. Alright, first, I think we should try to use this nano shove and blast this guy. Alright. Oh! Okay. We're doing. I don't know why my guy is running weapon jammed. jammed again. Weapon jammed again. Come on. Come on. Out of ammo. Reload. Weapon jammed. Take him out? Holy. The teacher first to boss monster with Alexi. Okay. Thank you, Wolf. I don't usually trust strangers, but you're my best, my new best friend. Yes, thank you. Is everyone okay? Nobody got exposed, right? Sebel checks you and Alexi for wounds and herself, especially anywhere the creature might have touched bare skin. I don't know about you, Alexi, but I don't think I've seen a creature that big before. Me neither. But let's get out of here. Tao has some explaining to do. The mine entrance suddenly reopens. Hmm? I knew you could do it. You protected the mine and the camp is safe. Great job. Alexi stomps towards Tao and punches him with his entire body, but Tao is only slightly moved by the punch, proving how physically tough he actually is. Tao just smirks back at him. Heh, <laughs> you feel big now. What was that shit, Tao? Were you okay with us dying? We work with you every day. How the hell could you do that to us? You two aren't here by accident. I knew you could handle it yourselves if something like this happened. You're alive too, so I don't see the fucking problem. Good job, you survived. Bullshit, Tao. That's over here, Mogoro. No, no, Mogura, overseer, nothing anymore. You're just plain fucking town. No respect for you since you 
you have none for us. If it wasn't for the wolf, we'd all be dead. That thing could have broken through the mine entrance and killed everyone in camp. Look, we're all proving our worth. Now's the time to start getting this camp back in shape. And when we're back on Earth and I'm promoted at Tech, I'll make sure we're all taken care of. Subtle pulls Alexi away from the confrontation. Alexi isn't satisfied with Tao's offer, but he crosses his arms and holds his tongue. Let's not let Alexi's outburst sour our victory. Don't worry, we'll make things fair, and I doubt there's too many creatures of that size in the mine anyway. To be careful, though, I'll call for a camp assembly to discuss the new danger and let everyone know miners are apparently pulling guard duty too. Our value is obvious, and they'll have no choice but to acknowledge that we deserve compensation. So consider this part of our deal. Come to the assembly at the pub so we can explain what happened here, and we'll all get paid. I'll see you there. Tao turns his attention to Lexi Sebul in the trash elevator. No one's using it right now. And you too. The repairs here seem workable, so get to it. After the assembly, Rough Pebble will need it to get to the... To get this place running. Fuck you, Tao. Yeah, yeah, fuck me. But also, get back to fucking work. Sybil starts assessing the elevator's condition. Alexi eyes Tao with disdain for a moment before joining her. You shake your head in disbelief at Tao's spin on what happened. Then you start thinking, what the hell are you going to say at the assembly? While Alexi and Sebel tend to the shaft's damage, you make your way to Alp's pub. Uneasy voices fill the pub as you enter, following, followed by grim expressions as your eyes adjust to the fluorescent light. Tao is already explaining away what happened in the coal in the mine control facility. Tao beckons you to stand in the middle of the gathering. <laughs> well, if you don't believe me, go on, kid. Tell him what you saw. Did you really see a monster at the mine elevator? Tao is telling the truth. The four of us, myself, Tao, Alexi, and Sebel all saw it. A palpable chill fills the room as everyone experiences true terror. This is terrible. The cave posed some danger, sure, but now there are monsters right under our feet? It's just too much. It might sound crazy, but isn't this why we have security, Claudia? We defend the camp just fine. It sounds like you miners were dangling the newbie as bait, just waiting for something to attack. That's not true. I was going to enter the mine. Bullshit. It's not just the new monster down there. Need I remind everyone of the contamination? I saw we. I say we just seal the hole and be done with it. Sebel and Alexia are already fixing the elevator. The stuff down there is too valuable to shut it down. Says the guy who will most certainly not be going down himself. Regardless of who actually goes into the mine, I'm the one in charge of the mine. So we need to start discussing our payment for doing security jobs. And Tao's true motive finally reveals itself. If it weren't for Rough Pebble, I'd, I think you were just spewing BS to get your hands on more credit. That's all you really care about. If it weren't for me and the new kid, you'd all be dead. We kept it from ravaging the entire camp, so yes, I believe there should be compensation. You shake your head, but you dare not get in the middle of their bad blood. Closing the mine hurt my miners the most, forcing us to go to work in different departments. It's not unreasonable to be paid for going above and beyond. We need to keep the operations going, right? Cut the crap. Everyone's hurt by this. Okay, okay. You're both special snowflake snowflakes. We can, ple can we please put a pin in this spat? Tao and Judith grumble under their breath, but allow the assembly to continue. Now, I'll point out that we have no idea what is happening in the mines or where those creatures might come again. When those creatures might come again. Claudia's suggestion of sealing the mines isn't terrible from any standpoint, but I'm hoping there's another path forward. I hate to say this, but I must begrudgingly agree with Tao. Not about the credits, but the information in the mine could help us cure our people and find out why the past expeditions disappeared. We can't just throw that away. Agreed. I don't know if sealing the mine is even really an option. Without it, we're severely draining our supplies. The mine is dangerous, yes, but it could also revive the camp if we could figure out a way to re-enter safely. 
To bolster David's point, our fuel reserves are scarcely low. Something has to change, or we will run out of power. Small trips to the caves just aren't enough anymore. The water station is in a similar situation, sadly. We can only ration so much before there's nothing left. Same for the farm, which is further affected by the water shortage in a big way. And no communication with Tech HQ means we have to solve this one ourselves, at least in the short term. So what? Is your solution to just sit around waiting to die? Definitely not. But that's why it's important that I go down there. Wait, you were serious about that? Entering the mine is a death sentence. Actually, actually. Everyone's attention turns to Ida. No one reads their communications. I'll just explain it. After intense examination, I've discovered that Rough Pebble's unique nanobots provide a limited resistance to the mine's contamination. Really? You nod to back Dr. Shahana. If that's true, then there may still be hope. How long until the mine shaft is in working order? My team is, in, is the best, but even then, it's going to be a while. What about the service elevator in the main hallway? I believe there is a connection to the mine from the basement there, but it's been down for weeks. Judith, do you think it's possible to repair it quickly? I'll give it my best, but there's no guarantee the power is flowing to the basement. Give me a hand, Blitzy. Tell me what you need, and my crew is there. Then we have a plan. We will reassemble when Judith and Litzy are done. This assembly is over for now. While the residents of Camp Huygen work to repair the elevator, I can't help but feel a mix of dread and hope. We're all bound together in this fight for survival. All their hopes rest on my shoulders. My special nanobots have turned me into a savior. And the camp requires a lot of saving. There's no contact with Tech HQ on Earth. All the camp's power, food, and water reserves are running on fumes. If the monster in mind control uh, is any indication, I will face dangerous mutated monsters who want to destroy this place. It's hard to imagine a worse con combination of situations to be thrown into, but here we are. On top of that, Dr. Shahane says my nanobots are resistant to the mind's sickness. But just how resistant are they? For how long? Were her tests even accurate? This isn't a situation where I can dip my toe to test the waters. I can only take a leap of faith and jump with both feet once the repairs are done. Judith calls everyone to the elevator once repairs are complete. It's a rush job, but looks functional at the least. It took some work, but you can take the elevator down when you're ready. Fortune shines on us today. Odette and Fang worked overtime to reroute power to the basement, but couldn't extend it any deeper. Try to find the cause. Electricity will make life a lot easier down there. The mining crew will monitor the elevator on our side, so if you need to come back, just ping us and we'll pull the lever. What are you talking about? Sebel did the quality check on your shoddy work. Turns out it's a one-way trip unless someone brings the elevator back up manually. Since this is our operation, we'll handle that duty. Judith and Tao glare at each other. One truly never misses the opportunity to undercut the other. Mr. Lao jumps in to calm the situation. Okay, Tao. You handle the elevator duty, and the camp will transfer the proper credits to your crew's accounts after your debts to Judith are fully paid. Then we can hopefully consider this squabble settled, yes? Fine. Fine. Okay. Mind if I interrupt, Rough Pebble? It's... Rough Pebble, it's crucial for you to bring back anything usable for the camp. We're all hurting around here. Every department has been managing its own supply levels, which has also put us against each other. With that in mind, our methods of production and consumption need to change fundamentally. So, after careful consideration and discussion, the Assembly has decided to give you complete authority to manage the camp's resources. This decision was not unanimous, but it is final. Uh, so you shouldn't shouldn't receive any pushback. Everything you bring back will replenish our reserves and help us survive, and you get to choose how to allocate it. Ida connects to your Omniscope and uploads new permissions, along with instructions, urgent needs, and tangential information you may find interesting. Full access to resource production and ut utilization is now yours. This is a critical responsibility, but we also can't trust anyone else to fairly distribute resources without bias for their own department. 
for the record, three of the four departments' heads are voting for here voted for you. Just saying. Hey, real talk, I would have been a perfect choice, but I can't hold no grudges, unlike some people. Mr. Lau, let's see an idol roll their, roll their eyes, annoyed that the squabbles are apparently to continue after all. Okay, okay, next. Be careful when traveling in heavily contaminated areas. You're resistant, not impervious. Your ominous scope will alert you to contaminated levels. The assumption right now is that the deeper you go, the higher the levels will be. Finally, you should run into facilities built by the previous expeditions. Your old team. We couldn't fully excavate them due to contamination, so searching those areas and finding clues might reveal what happened to Titan. So, in summation, I'm in charge of gathering all the resources I can, and I get to decide where they go and camp. No pressure there. I also need to collect everything while looking for clues from my past, fighting, mo fighting monsters and keeping an eye for on my contamination levels. In a nutshell, yes, you're going to do great. Thank you, Dr. Shane. Hey, call me Ida. Also, keep in mind that we don't really know what's down there. You said you were ready before, but check yourself before you actually go in. I also put blueprints in your storage for some ranged weapons. Physical contact with those things down there should be hazardous. Could be hazardous. And with that, we all wish you great success. Do check in if you need anything else. We are all here to support you. Camp management information and permission has been updated. You can check the camp UI by pressing O. Okay. Confirmed. Engineering level 2. Uh, item gained. Farm. Generator. Medical labs. Mind control level 2. Water stations. Clues from the past. Camp. Underground power. Okay. Holy. Okay. Underground power level. Mm hmm. Ration distributions. Living conditions could be a little bit better then. Okay, no. For now, this is fine. Infection level. 26%. And what is this? Powered, yes. Air filtered, installed, no. Okay. Okay. Well, with that, I'm going to end this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't yet. Make sure to hit subscribe and like, and we'll see each other in the next episode, where we are going to head down into the mines, finally, um, and take on the hordes of monsters and whatever is uh, down there. We should also, let me go ahead and do this real fast, use this on that, there we go, cool, okay, great, see you in the next one, take care, bye.